Hey, how's it going everyone? Brad Smith here with HealthLink, looking for the top health and fitness experts throughout the world. I'm joined with a top health expert, Dr. Claire. How are you today, doctor? I'm fabulous. How are you doing today, Brad? I'm doing very good. Thank you. You're the owner of SK Chiropractic in uh, Willington, Delaware. So that's awesome. Tell the audience real quick who you are and what your business is. Well, uh, my name is Shavneet Claire. I'm a chiropractor. I'm passionate, driven, and very compassionate in the field of chiropractic, loving people. Um, I love to explore different aspects of health. Um, I love to engage everybody in um, sharing the story of chiropractic, which is working from your body inside out. And that means everything from how you're thinking, how you're feeling, what you're eating, what you're doing physically. And I'd like to think of myself as your personal doctor coach who's trying to get you better in that area, um, trying to make your life at, at its very best, having you live optimally. Yeah, before the interview, you were telling me about, you know, the whole wellness thing that you want to offer and that you offer your clients already. Kind of explain um, how you can help them. I know you help them with nutrition, um, the coaching, because I know it's more than just chiropractic care that you're doing. Um, well, for me, every individual that comes through the door is an individual. They are unique. Their DNA is unique. Who they are is unique. Their life experiences are unique. So I'm trying to basically coach them and teach them what is going to work for them as an individual. So I assess them, I see what's going on. And based on where their life experiences and what they're doing, I coach them into how they're thinking about their health. And health doesn't, people think health is just your physical outwardly self and you've injured a spine or something, but health is a lot more than that. Health is your mental wealth, your emotional wealth, uh, your emotional health. It's everything and emotional wealth, of course. Yeah, all of so, it. It, it works in all ways that way. And so you want to basically zoom in and see where the patient is having deficiencies and focus and help them and guide them in that way. Doctor essentially means a guide, a teacher, a healer. You know, we're not the cure, but we are, we're guides. And so we want to teach you. And so that's what I like to do. I like to get each individual, work on them individually and focus into what they need and cater to those specific needs, whether it be nutrition, talking about them, what's, what their blocks are, or whether it's helping them physically uh, with the physical touch in chiropractic. All right, and I like how you offer the full realm. You're not just one service, depends on what they need, um, you're there to help them. So I, I know we all, we all have our unique stories, why we got started in the industry, and maybe yours is unique also. You started in chiropractic, but you're also helping people with their overall health and coaching. Can you tell me uh, the background on, on yourself? Um, my heritage is Indian. I was born in Africa. My parents were teachers. I've had a humble beginning. Um, so uh, being born there, I saw a lot of poverty, but a lot of people turned to natural healing. So growing up as a child, I, I was very, there was a lot of medical doctors too, don't get me wrong, but it was drawn to seeing like, what is this natural thing? But it never quite stuck with me. And then I was in Toronto. I mean, I moved to Canada and I was going to University of Toronto and into my third year, I'm soul searching. I want to be in health. I don't really know exactly what. And I'm like, dear God, like, help me figure this out. Like, I'm, I'm finding something, but I can't quite find it. I don't want to be a medical doctor. I want to do something in the healthcare field. And I really didn't even know what chiropractic was at the time. And I was working in a, cl a woman's clothing store. And my manager, her name was Helen. She's from Ireland. And she was um, not the happiest person. And she couldn't have kids. And one fine day, I was doing my exams, and I come back. Uh, from a little break and she's very nice and you know she was not the nicest person always and I <laughs> thought uh what happened is she gonna fire me or something like you know she's being too nice and she's like I'm pregnant and I said I thought you said you can never get pregnant she goes well I'm seeing a chiropractor and I said oh my god are you having an affair with a chiropractor and she said no she's like but when I went to a chiropractor he helped me get pregnant and I thought what is this ruckus come on I don't believe this you know and uh, so I was like, okay, whatever, right? But her whole personality changed. And, you know, that directly influences you. And I thought, wow, okay, this is interesting. So that's in the back of my mind. Simultaneously, I get set up on a blind date with a chiropractor. And all he talked about all night long is chiropractic and how it's better than medicine. And I'm like, oh, give me a break. And so, you know, I'm like, what is this chiropractic thing? And so the next day, I go to the career center at University of Toronto. And I'm in the library and start reading up about chiropractic and I'm blown away. I'm like, this is unreal. This has got to do with the nervous system. It's natural. How come I've never heard of this before? And then I still was skeptical and I shouted with a couple of doctors, uh, the late Dr. Brickman. And um, I started to go to his practice and see people get better in front of my eyes. And I was a true skeptic. And yeah. uh, 
when I started to see that, I started to believe it. But I shouted with a lot of chiropractors at the time to really understand chiropractic. And once I saw it working, it was a no-brainer for me. And that was my calling, and I found it. Yeah. Well, that, that's awesome that you actually were able to shadow other doctors. You saw other experiences. We interview a lot of chiropractors and you know different people in the health field and see all the success stories and the different things and different ways um, they're helping people. So um, tell us a little bit about a success story that kind of sticks out to you, uh, maybe one that you've seen through chiropractic or one that you've experienced also. Um, geez, I mean, and I know it's hard to choose one. It, it is truly hard to choose one. Um, well, not too long ago, actually. I mean, I can give you, I can give you a startup story, which, which at the time I was just beginning chiropractic. One of my first patients in chiropractic, uh, Ed Palmer, a chiropractic in Iowa at school and college, he was my first patient. And um, I'm assessing him, and this is my diagnostic, this is my diagnostic aspect of chiropractic. And you know, I'm listening to, I'm auscultating his abdomen, and I'm like, this sounds, this doesn't, this doesn't sound textbook. And then, you know, based on his exam and everything, he's having back pain. I take an X-ray, and this is my first read on a real patient, and he had an abdominal aneurysm ready to go. Wow. And, and yeah, and I caught it, and it was it was incredible because I heard I it, the the sounds didn't sound right. The examination was leading to that this is not coming just from your spine. So actually, this is a great story to share with people because your chiropractor not only can help with um, assessing what's wrong with your spine, but also what's not wrong with your spine and send you out to correct referrals. And so many chiropractors actually save people's lives in that way. Yeah, and I've yeah. been fortunate that a number of stories have been able to help that way. So that was one that was not related to directly treating the spine, but it was his chiropractor after and his cardiologist had told him had I not you know, found that he would have, he probably would have been dead. So that was one. Um, a second one that I think more related to chiropractic was um, a young man who was involved in lifting and carrying work for a carrier company, was referred by a friend of mine and just was limping, couldn't walk, very young. And he's now my patient as well. And basically I got him from a position where the guy had no hope, thought he couldn't even walk, to now he's walking, functioning and working full time. So. Wow. Yeah. So that's another, you know, there are many of these, you know, I, I just don't even know how, where to like start and stop. But. I, I like both, I like both of them and thank you for sharing those. But the first one I think, you know, showed you, especially if it was your first patient, um, you know, how incredible and how many different types of people you're going to be able to help. Absolutely. Now, quick question that just came to the top of my mind, because I hear a lot about this. Um, if the issues or symptoms he was having, um, do you think, a regular normal doctor would just prescribe medication for something like that you see a lot of um, people getting prescribed medication just because they're not really sure what's going on well I think that there is still the stigma of it's just a chiropractor they're gonna crack and rock your spine and see you later and so they don't want to send people to a chiropractor but they don't understand chiropractors have many techniques I mean we use if you're trained properly, you can you can be trained up to 13 to different types of techniques. And depending on what the condition is, you can actually give them the right uh, treatment. Like there's soft tissue ways to address the issue. There is light force techniques. The more much gentler and lighter, like activator. Um, you know, so you can you can use much lighter SOT, much lighter techniques. You can use Thompson drops, and which I do. So depending on what's going on with a patient, you want to use those. But sometimes doctors, medical doctors, and other doctors will not realize that the chiropractors have other tools in the bag. They, in their brain, they think it's like, you know, the Simpsons. You can just have a crack rack and see you later, and it's it's not true. Um, but having said that, and to be on the defense of the medical doctors, the young generation are much more open, and I'm finding very the younger generation are actually more excited about chiropractic than the previous generation who had these stigmas of chiropractic. So you're starting to see an evolution, a bit of a change in that field as well, and a little more acceptance. But I don't live my life as a chiropractor waiting for someone's approval. I live my life to be true to my cause and true to helping people and authentic and generally open and understanding. And I'm also generally open and understanding to medical doctors and understanding where they're coming from and their mindset. The more open you are, the more the energy in the universe flows freely the more people are able to heal, the more we restrict ourselves and put boundaries, we as doctors are not allowing those people to heal. And, right. also, and I think as a chiropractor, also as a chiropractor to, to also put the defense on the medical side, 
sometimes there are limitations to matter. They really are. And the person may have their blocks and they just can't get better. And for you to deny them of the proper treatment is also being negligent. So I know where I can help and I know where I can't. And to be humble enough to know what you can do and also at the same time be truthful enough to keep those doors open to allow the patient to be at their very best. Yeah. I think it's great that you see that full picture. You see the, you know, positives and negatives, but I think just, you know, being open like that and being able to work with other doctors, I think that's a great referral also. So if a lot of, you know, different types of um, practices and businesses can refer back and forth with each other, I think that's just going to help patients in the long run even more. Absolutely. And the goal as of being a doctor is not about who's right. It's about how can we serve the patient best. And I, I think people forget that we get so wrapped up in everything else. We forget what is the point of why we're doing what we're doing. Yep, exactly. Okay, I want to get back. Thank you for the success stories. Those are awesome. And also, if people want to see more, you have plenty on your website, which I was reading through. So thank you okay. for posting those. Hopefully, you keep posting them. Um, <laughs> so if you could, let's. Um, if I'm in your area, tell um, whoever's watching, you know, the area you're in, um, where you're located, and how they can find you. Um, in the Williamton area. So I'm located off of uh, Silverside Road on 202. Uh, it's a well-known little pike road called 202. Um, you can exit right off 95 and catch it towards Westchester um, or otherwise. Um, the location is very interesting. It sits near the border of Pennsylvania and Delaware, but it's also very accessible. Delaware is a small state, so it's very accessible. Um, I'm so on this little. It's a plaza area called Concord Plaza, and there's a group of different buildings with different doctors and different uh, different offices in that in that plaza. I mean, in one of those buildings called the Weldon Building, I just started my practice about roughly about eight weeks ago. I'm very excited. Wow. Yeah, I've been doing Congratulations. this. Congratulations. Thank you. I've been doing this 15 years, and it's been a full circle. I went from having my practice to working in other practices and now back to my own practice. And um, it's very exciting. It's very humbling. Um, so my door's open for everybody who wants to come. I'm very accessible. My telephone number is on my website. It's 302-650-4542. I'm a text doctor. You can text me. You don't even have to call me. You just, I'm very, uh, I love my social media. So, you know, a lot of my patients have found me through Facebook on SK Chiropractic. Um, a lot of people found me on LinkedIn, again, as, as my name, Shavneet Claire. So people actually are searching me, have been able to find me through social media. Um, but I'm one of the most easygoing laid back. You can see I'm not wearing my lab white coat is sitting on my chair. I mean, I'm not hung up with the title at all. Cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's not about the title. It's about how can I serve you best? And honestly, sometimes you guys, my patients are the ones that help me grow too as a person. So, um, you know, it, it all works together. And so, yeah, I'm here and on Silverside road, three, four, one, one Silverside road, Weldon building suite one Oh six. And, um, what about what if, about if I'm visiting the area? Do you do any uh, walk-ins or can someone up, make an appointment? To give you talk about success stories, I had um, a, a young minor who was competing for nationals for skating whose parents found me and they only come here during the summer times. And, uh, and in fact, the parents said to me, the guardian said to me that they're going to be here next summer and they'll want to come back and treat with me again. But they're not from the state. Cool. So, yeah, I'm very, I'm very delighted. I have a friend who came all the way from New York to get treated out here and actually said to me um, a week ago, uh, actually this past weekend, I'm going to be coming back for another treatment. So, yeah. So, cool. if there's, right. um, it, yeah, you know, if you think about it, the world is a small place. It's not necessarily so difficult and so engaging. It, we do crazy things for ourselves. Why we'll go to a spa that's in a different state, but we can't go get a treatment like think about it. It doesn't make sense. We, you know, people don't, they think of health as they put it on a shelf, like, okay, if I'm sick, I'll go see my, my MD, but they don't think of it as it's just part of your life. It's just part of who you are. It's your definition of you. And to really invest in who you are, we're investing in everything else. Why not invest in the simplest of things? So yeah, taking a trip down to Delaware is not a big deal. <laughs> put it in your schedule. That's what we always say. It's in your schedule. You're probably more likely to do it. Exactly. Well, that's awesome. Well, thank you for sharing that. We're going to make sure we post all your links above, above or below the video here. So we'll post your uh, website so people can read your uh, success stories and testimonials, uh, your Facebook and LinkedIn page, so they can easily connect with you also. Wonderful. Thank you, Brad. I really appreciate it.
Well, nice to meet you, Dr. Claire. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Brad. I appreciate it. And we definitely recommend your business. So anybody watching, whether you're in uh, the Wilmington area or you're just visiting, we recommend Dr. Claire, uh, SK Chiropractic. And uh, we want to encourage you to live a healthier life. And we will see you on the next show. Thanks again. That was great. Take care, Brad. Thank <laughs> you.